out in the emptiness of space, far beyond Earth's atmosphere, where light moves at a crawl of a million years or more, the James Webb Space Telescope has again pointed its golden mirrors into the void. Following decades of quietly observing the most mysterious reaches of the universe, the telescope has published a new batch of photos, images so stunning and profound that they've amazed scientists and entranced the public. They are not photographs, they're windows into the texture of existence itself, giving us the formation of galaxies, the creation of stars, and shining clouds of gas that cavort in the interstellar expanse. One of the most remarkable of them reveals an unseen-before area at the center of a faraway galaxy cluster. Here, in gravitational turmoil, great arcs of bent light suggest gravitational lensing, nature's own magnifying glass, that lets scientists examine galaxies billions of light-years distant in exquisite detail. Another picture takes a close-up of a protostar coalescing within a dense cocoon of gas and dust, some 1,400 light-years from the Earth. Employing its infrared vision, Webb looked through the veil to reveal the birth of a star, its accretion disk curving inward. We can now see the birth of stars up close for the first time, a fundamental change in our knowledge about star and solar system formation. The scariest picture in the set, however, is perhaps an image from outer space, which captures galaxies whose light has traveled more than 13 billion years before reaching us. Red-hued and impossibly compact, these ancient formations imply the early universe had evolved more rapidly than cosmological theory permits. Webb's findings can compel scientists to redefine the very chronology of the universe's childhood. Not everything is looking back so far, some is coming closer to home. One identifies an exoplanet not simply as a shadow, but as a planet with a rich atmosphere. Using spectral analysis, scientists detected water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide, molecules that suggest the potential for habitability. The abilities of the telescope have made science fiction science fact, enabling us to analyze alien atmospheres and bring planetary science into a new golden era. The telescope also returned to the Carina Nebula, uncovering towering pillars of gas that smolder with star birth activity, hidden from previous observation by dust. These pillars are not just visually striking, they're chemical factories where planets, and maybe life, come together. Webb's vision also observed the heart of a faraway quasar around a supermassive black hole with gravitational strength that warps near light. In contrast to earlier telescopes that revealed only blurs, Webb resolved delicate whirls of gas swirling into the event horizon, presenting our closest look so far at the violent processes that sculpt galaxies. Here the energy is virtually beyond comprehension, billions of suns worth of mass packed into an area the size of our solar system. But within that turmoil exists the power that creates the cosmos shape. This image release is different from others in that it isn't solely the celestial bodies that are unique, it's the depth, resolution, and clarity that Webb provides. While older telescopes detected smudges, Webb gets galaxies in exquisite detail. Where we once viewed darkness, now we view structure. One photo depicts two galaxies in the process of colliding, their tidal tails and starburst activity evident in stunning detail. Observing such mergers serves to predict the destiny of our own Milky Way, which is gradually heading toward a collision with the Andromeda Galaxy. Webb even looked out to the periphery of our galaxy, resolving a cluster of stars once too far away and dusty to examine. These primeval stars retain the chemical signatures of the universe when it was young, serving as stellar fossils that allow researchers to piece together cosmic history. In a surprising but searing image, Webb looked into a dark, empty patch of space and found it filled with faint, ancient galaxies. This contradicts the idea that cosmic voids are actually in isolation. Even the most black holes have too much history to them, containing too faint structures to have ever been detected by previous instruments. This alters our knowledge of cosmic structure and matter distribution throughout the universe. Webb also discovered intricate carbon-based molecules, possible ingredients of life, within star-forming nebulae. These sightings are not loose hypotheses. They're sharp, high-fidelity signals that imply life's building blocks are universal across the universe. The telescope doesn't simply look out. It also looks in. Where did we originate? Are we sole tenants of the universe? What is time, matter, and energy? All pictures are an answer and an invitation to seek out more. 
Webb is not only a telescope, it's a window to our beginnings, our destiny, and our position in an interconnected cosmic web. One stunning photo spotlights a magnetar, a hypermagnetized neutron star created from a supernova. It's no larger than a city and shoots out gamma-ray bursts strong enough to disrupt electronics on Earth if within close proximity. Webb's observations offer unprecedented views of these extreme vestiges of star death, allowing scientists to learn how elements such as gold and uranium are created and distributed in space. Some of the strongest evidence coming out of Webb's data isn't visual, however, it's spectral. By disassembling the light signatures of distant objects, Webb can determine the elemental makeup of stars and galaxies. In a single observation, astronomers found the fingerprint of oxygen in a galaxy only 500 million years after the universe began. That implies that the first stars burned hot and exploded, seeding the universe with heavy elements far more quickly than previously thought. The evolutionary timeline of the universe may require a squeeze, with whole generations of stars blooming and dying within periods previously considered sterile. Webb has also looked into star nurseries where several stars are forming at the same time, with their surroundings of disks of gas and dust that could come together to form planets. Some of these stellar nurseries are so crowded that dozens of emerging young stars twinkle in a single snapshot, completely astounding news about the packed and disorganized beginnings of star systems. In one of those images, dim streams of material are visible flying out from baby stars at several hundred kilometers per second, an indication of dynamic formation processes that only Webb's keen resolution can determine. There is also the prospect of biosignatures, chemical signs that might indicate life. In the air of one exoplanet, researchers have spotted possible dimethyl sulfide, a molecule that on Earth is created nearly solely by living things. Although caution must be exercised to prevent hasty assumptions, even the mere possibility of detecting such signatures on distant planets is a quantum leap in the search for extraterrestrial life. The door is now open for more targeted observations of rocky, Earth-like exoplanets orbiting within their star's habitable zones. Closer to home, Webb has turned its gaze toward our own solar system, studying the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Its instruments have confirmed the presence of water plumes erupting from Europa and Enceladus, each a possible haven for microbial life beneath thick layers of ice. Webb's observation of the presence of complex organic molecules in these plumes has rekindled hopes that oceans under these ice crusts might be brimming with primitive life. These are not hypothetical environments, they're working systems, dynamic and riddled with chemical potential. Among the more subdued, less familiar images is an image of a brown dwarf, a string, failed star lost in the galaxy. They were once viewed as astronomical oddities, but today, these objects are viewed as central to the study of planetary formation. Webb's penetrating infrared vision enables researchers to view their cloud layers, temperature gradients, and even weather patterns. In others, researchers have discovered silicate clouds, so these bizarre worlds may literally have rainstorms of sand, otherworldly, certainly, but now visible in rich detail. Webb's mission is not only to discover, but to challenge our assumptions. The more it reveals, the more we must reconsider. The notion of a quiet, slowly evolving universe is being overturned. Galaxies churn and collide with breathtaking violence. Stars live and die in a cosmic ballet of creation and collapse. Planetary systems are born from chaos and sculpted by invisible forces. And maybe, spread across the cosmic canvas, are other cultures, silent presently, but possibly present. Each photo back from Webb enriches our knowledge not only of where we're at, but of who we're at. We're not observers to the universe, we're its product. The hydrogen in our water, the carbon in our cells, the iron in our blood were all created in the hearts of stars that died millions and billions of years ago. Webb does not simply reveal to us distant galaxies and ancient light, but our own cosmic heritage. We are, in the most literal sense of the term, children of the universe. As human beings look deeper into space than we ever have before, a change is occurring. We're not searching for new worlds or odd occurrences. We're coming to understand the magnitude of the enigma we live in. With each image, Webb redefines the questions we pose and opens the doors to what we can learn. These are more than findings. They're milestones on our course as a species. A course of vision, of inquiry, of awe. 
and while we might never get to web stars, our imaginations, and maybe one day, our children, just might. As we look at these new pictures, then, let's recall that the real strength of web is not just what it observes, but what it evokes. Web makes the infinite accessible. It reminds us that in an infinite universe of darkness, there is light. That in stillness, there is narrative. That in a universe full of stars, there is room for us. If you enjoyed this trip through space and were awed by it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more explorations. What do you think Webb's new images tell us? Let us know in the comments, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Keep looking up until next time.